Hello, ooh, I'm just knocking the sash window here. Hello and welcome to my Friday. I am actually gonna meet a YouTuber friend today that I've never met before. He's coming all the way down from Kent. I'm gonna meet him in Penarth, which is on the seafront down here in South Wales. I'm currently at my boyfriend's place, but he's gonna drop me at Newport Rail Station. So we shall head down to Penarth from there. In the meantime, I need to get packed up. I'm not even gonna show you the state of the room where I've been working. <laughs> it's my stuff everywhere. I need to go through my bag carefully and leave some stuff here actually, because I'm gonna be back here again on the Saturday night actually I'm getting dropped here after a gig that I'm doing with a different band uh, and then coming back here to rehearse with the yeah the pub band it's complicated I've got too many different bands on the go and you know what there's a lot of personnel crossover between them all this we've yeah we're like a collective that's kind of forms different collaborations a lot yeah anyway I got to get packed up because we're going in 20 minutes we're just coming through Newport there's the castle look I always get the castle in the vlog I think it's so cool that it's just right there right you know in the middle of modern things the remnants of the past just been dropped off at Newport Rail Station. I bought the ticket on my phone to save a bit of time going in. So I've got like a, I don't know if it's art or if it's engineering, but there's a new sculpture thing appeared. There's people in there, so I don't want to film it at the moment. I'll film in the top of it. There we are, look. What's that? Anybody know what that is? Oh, this has changed as well. Look, we've got some Cadu stuff here. Oh, uh, it's from Kyleon. I don't think you could get to Kyleon by train. I'll have to look into that again. Oop. Platform two. They've got the signs for the rail replacement buses. This has been quite an ongoing issue with me. <laughs> I'm heading to platform two. Well, train's delayed by five minutes already. I think the other one is as well, which is just as well, really. Because it's quite a tight connection time. Well, what will be will be. I think the trains are probably quite frequent to Penarth, but I'll we'll find out when I get there. Hopefully I don't have to keep Donny waiting for too long. Seems to be quite a lot of renovation work going on here at the station at the moment. There's a huge scaffolding and platform over the seating area in the central part. I've brought some crisps to munch on just to keep me going till lunchtime. I expect I'll have chips on the pier with Donny. Here comes the train. A little bit late. Not too bad though. Oh great, plenty of spare seats on this one. I'm going to sit here. Oh gosh, it's a real cold draught coming down. I think it's the aircon. There was another lad on the platform with me with a big camera as well, the great big lens on it. I think he was photographing rather than videoing. It wasn't the same camera as mine, I did ask him, he shook his head. A young lad. Anyway, we should be leaving any second now. And oh, I haven't done any language learning today yet on my phone, I'm going to do some now. Off we go. I'm hoping this train's going to make up some lost time so I make my connection to Penarth. Maybe it will, it seems to be pretty speedy at the moment. We're just coming in now, but we've literally got three minutes, well, less than three minutes from now and the doors aren't open yet, so I don't know if I'm going to make it across in time unless the other train's late, but it might be. Just say goodbye to camera boy. It's amazing how many people around us probably got loads in common with us, but we don't know because we don't strike up a conversation. But then sometimes you just get these visual clues. I think I might get that train if I literally run. Let's run. Oh no, it's the next platform again. Oh no, I'm not going to get it. Right, okay, shall I keep footage as I run up a flight of steps? If it's late, I might get it. If I stop to read it, if it's late, I might miss it. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, it's not here. Oh, good. <sighs> it's due in one second. It's due now. <laughs> due 11 seconds ago, but it's coming now. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Here it comes. Here we are. Yay. I think this is quite a new train. Look at this access here. Yeah. Never seen that before. Really flat. Oh, it's fancy. So I just passed a great big toilet, you know, disabled access one. Oh yeah, very fancy. <laughs> we will be travelling to Penarth. I love this train. I wish our new ones are going to be like this. But I know they're not. Do you know how I know that? Because apparently, 
and do correct me if I'm wrong because I'd love to be wrong but apparently our ones are not going to have any toilets you have to get off at the station use the toilet and get back on the next train which is no good if you've got five kids believe me I mean I only had one children they either need to go to the toilet now or not at all under a certain age they don't, they don't say oh, I'm going to need to go in about the next 10 minutes no they're desperate or they don't need to go in my experience anyway so I think that's just going to be a complete nightmare not including the people with tummy upsets maybe if they've had a night out on the uh, the booze and they uh, feel the need to go and be sick they're just going to have to do that in the carriage you know so I do hope this has changed since I last heard but the last I heard was from a worker of the railway which was a few days ago so but hopefully the journey should be quicker I need to text Donny anyway because I had warned him that we might be late I say we you and me, so I'm going to text him again at the same time. Another thing I'd say about the lack of toilets, you know, and having to get off and use the toilet and get back on the next train is if you've got a connection, you just can't necessarily do that because you might miss your connection. We're here and I'm going to meet Donny. It's so weird meeting people for the first time when you've made friends on YouTube. Thank you. I don't see him yet. I'll send him a message. I bet he's not far. He's been shopping in Tesco's, getting some supplies. We've been keeping in touch by text, you see, giving updates. I'm here with Donny. Look, he's having some cake. Here he is. Hello, Hello Donny. <laughs> We're in Wales. We are indeed. It's a lovely day. Welsh North. Wales, as they say. <laughs> Got a vegan sausage roll and some coleslaw and crisps. It's always so weird vlogging in front of other vloggers. Yeah. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit like, oh, well, I feel all sheepish now, but I'm here with Donny. Oh, this is Donny. Hello. What's your channel called, Donny? My channel is Donny's Weekend Van Life Travels UK. And what do you vlog about? I vlog mainly about my van, and it is basically building stuff for the van and car repairs and general travel and bits and pieces and daily life as well. Yeah, and bit he's a lovely everything. bloke. A lovely bloke. And you've got a lovely voice. I've got a lovely voice. You've got, I was telling my boyfriend, Donnie's got a lovely voice, like speaking voice. And I, I remember thinking he'd make a good singer. And it turns out he is a singer. I, <laughs> so you've got another channel in which you sing, haven't I you? I have, yeah. It's called One Oasis Music. We're going to have a little walk up to the end of the pier and gaze out at the estuary. They've come over to have a look at these. Donnie spotted them. Fish and chip counter was closed. That's why we went in the cafe. But the food in the cafe was very nice, actually. That breeze is lovely, isn't it? Because it's, mm. it's actually quite hot, so it kind of regulates it, it, you. It does, doesn't it? It cools it down a little bit. Mm. You can see the sea down there. Ooh. We've come right to the end of the pier and we can't half hear those waves crashing. Donnie was telling me the paddle steamer, the Waverley, comes here. He knows more about this area than me. <laughs> Wandering slowly back inland now. I think an ice cream could be on the cards. I'm too full at the moment from my lunch. <laughs> nice choice of flavours. Donnie's found his perfect ice cream <laughs> size. <laughs> We're having a little like sit down. Oh, yeah. And it's actually Tobermory in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. They're all different colours. We're commenting on the houses over there, they're all different colours, but they're very nicely coordinated. How's the ice cream? Not too bad. We can see the ice cream stick around out there. We've been sat there for so long, we were suddenly thinking, are we getting sunburned? We're just chin wagging. We can't stop talking. I've hardly been filming anything. Donnie and his wife are having a look at the oldie sweetie shop at the moment. Here it is. Donnie's just gone in to pay. Look, you can help yourself from outside and then take it in to pay. Oh, that looks good. Donnie's gone in here into the shop. A shop of loveliness. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. What are you getting, Donnie? I've got you one of them. Is that for me? And I've got you one of them. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, that's gratitude for you, isn't it? <laughs> I want candy sticks. I saw them in the window. Hold on to them then. The candy sticks. Yeah, the white ones. There's just some cups in the corner for the... Right. Up on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. Please. And those. Yeah. Oh, How much are they a cup? Uh, if you fill it to the top, it's three pounds. If you want to do less, we just weigh it as well. I never had one of those. I was deprived. Really? <laughs> My mum and dad watch this channel. Look, you've deprived me by not letting me have a pairs. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> I used to buy them every week for the kids. Oh, did you? And the lolly things. That's pretty fun. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Any toy that came out at the time. <laughs> oh, thank you for that, Donnie. Yeah, I haven't been bought a lolly 
Well, I can't find one. I can't one. remember Can ever I being. Get you I've one. got a massive lolly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we are going for a cup of tea now in Donnie's van. Nice now. Lovely building over there, mm. isn't it? And the new really flats are nice. Yeah, new flats, yeah. Really. We're getting diverted. We got distracted by the RNLI shop, so just going to have a little peep in here. Donnie's honing in on the camper vans already. <laughs> that one's a bit small for you, Donnie. Yeah, I don't think I'll get in that one. No. Start me young, look, 10 months plus. <laughs> Little lifeboat man. Days out organiser, you know I like my organisers. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a breeze come up now. It's gone all lovely and cool. Oh, look, Donnie's vlogging. He's vlogging right now. Oh, you'll have to watch his video to see what he's vlogging about. <laughs> I can see the van from here. It a bit of an effort to park it, didn't you? Because you can't, you have to get in at certain angles, don't you? Because of the yeah. length of the vehicle. Yeah, it's uh, 5.8 metres long, so Oof. it's a bit of a long one. We are back at the van, the Donny Mobile. Okay, Donny, does this van have a name? It does, its name is Jenny. Jenny. Oh. And we got the name from Forrest Gump. Ah. Forrest Gump's Jenny. I think Donnie might give us a tour if we're lucky. First bit is this, which is... Oh, something hidden under there. 35 litre compressor fridge. Oh, we get to see your snacks. Yeah, and, and beer. <laughs> mm. And as you can feel, how cold that is. Oh, you've got that thing. That is like ice. And you can use this as a fridge or yeah. a freezer. It goes down to minus 20. Wow, eh? So you can freeze your stuff if you want. This is also part of the bed at night time. That goes to there, that pulls out, and that is another bed mm -hmm. on there. In daytime, it doubles up as a little seat. I'm not sure I'm getting loads of wind noise on that. As you come through. Oh, I'm coming through, nice little through. step there. So you say you've got a bed and a seat there for daytime. We've got 520 watts of solar power as well, which yep. in there is the solar controllers. Oh, yeah. As you can see, full batteries. And this, that's the solar coming in, which mm -hmm. is all up on the roof. Under here are the batteries for the solar, yep. which runs all the lights, the pump for the sink. This one is just cold water. Wow, look at that. It's like home from home. We've got fans all around as well to oh, yeah. keep you cool. Oh, lovely. Weather off would approve of that. Air conditioning in the front. Obviously only while you're going along. Yeah. And then you come this way, we have full wet room. Mm -hmm. With hot and cold shower and touch light for night time. I'm panning down. Oh, you've got loo in there too. We've got a toilet as well, yeah. We've got a chemical toilet in there. I bet that was handy during the pandemic when everyone was trying to it was. not use public loos. And these here is my sea glass collection. Oh yeah, well, you might get some from Penarf Beach. I've picked up quite a lot from here. And up the top there, if you zoom into that, that is an ammonite fossil that I found on Charmouth Beach. This is the other bits of my sea glass here. Oh. Oh. I've got some blue, which is very rare yeah, to get. Yeah, that is rare, isn't it, for sea And that there is a tiny ammonite fossil. Yeah. And these fossils here are bellamites. These two little ones here. Oh, yeah. I thought I'd just add them into the... Yeah. You know? And They're little mementos, yeah. aren't they, of your travels in the van. Yeah. And then round the back here, we've got more overhead lockers with the bedding. Yeah. For night time. And we've got another fan for night time. Keep us cold. Yeah. We've also got USB... Lights for reading. Yeah. Both sides there. Oh, really handy, yeah. And one there, and they've got a USB in the side for charging. That one is a touch light, so you can touch it on and off. And you put all these in yourself? Yeah. Whole right. thing is self built. It's not going off in there. Off. Resident expert. There Cooker this side, which is two burner with a grill, which is like your normal camping type. Stove and you grill under there to do toast. And under here is all the, the storage and oh, the gas. Yum. All your shopping bits and foods and stuff. Yep. Underneath that one, a bit awkward to open because we're on a mat, is the water for the sink. Yep. Underneath we've got a 50 litre waste water tank. Yep. That does the one from there for the sink and also the shower. Is that paint to empty? No, at the back, just turn a tap and it just all drains oh, out. All right. 
so it's all... And there's nothing noxious anyway, is there? It's not like a toilet waste or No, anything. no. No, it's just, uh, just water. My favourite bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what my favourite bit is, don't you? Because I commented on it earlier. One of your special, rather inventive inventions with your condiments. Oh, yes. Yes. Or should I say, are they cruets or condiments? I don't know. The condiment <laughs> collection. And what's this made these. from? Right, these are from Wilkinson's. They're 95p each yeah. and they're for holding brooms. Brooms? Yeah, but <laughs> they are perfect for holding your salt and pepper. <laughs> it's very inventive, <laughs> aren't you? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and the back here goes into a double bed. You literally pull that out. Yeah. Cushions down, and there's your double bed to lay across. And you've got solar lights. And we've got solar lights at night here, and also in these lights. These were original ones for the minibus. Oh, reverse. And they used to have um, <laughs> fluorescent tubes in them. Yeah. So we took the fluorescent tubes out because we put the down lighters in. And in these at night, there's all little blue twinkle lights that twinkle oh, away. Right. And they're, they're solar powered. Yeah. As well. I don't know why I'm sounding surprised. I've seen it on your vlogs. You have. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot though. <laughs> and we've also got a TV. Oh, what? <laughs> DVD. So if the weather's rotten you've and there's your, nothing open. Yeah, you've got your TV and DVD. Well, and obviously two on. skylights. Oh, yeah, we've got these ones as well. Look. Oh, little flashy twinkles. Oh, so sweet. Moon lighting for night. Yeah. And obviously storage in that under here. And there's the water boiler at the back. Oh, fine. Which gives the hot water for the shower. Cool. And how do you heat it? Or did you tell me that already? Gas. Gas, yeah. Yes, it's gas. And obviously we've got the vent here that vents yeah. the horrible fumes away. And on the back door we've got the bike rack with the boat and the paddle building. Yeah. All inflatable. All inflatable, <laughs> yes. Oh, marvellous. Oh, oh, and I like this little little one here too. I'm not sure if it's a puffer fish or a porcupine fish. I think it's a puffer fish. Answers in the comments. Puffer or porcupine? I, I think it's puffer because I've got a feeling the porcupines have got like lines. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, thank you, Donnie. It's okay. One of the first things I noticed when Donnie was driving up in the train station car park with his little wiggly waggly characters here. <laughs> Something's appearing. Donnie's just put a big true pipe thing. Oh, oh, it's a, oh, it's a table. Yeah, he did say there was a table coming. Yeah, this table goes up the other end as well. When we and Stephanie are normally away, we leave this up as a fixed bed. Right, yeah. And then we can just dine at the front. But because yeah. you were coming to see today, I didn't want to put the bed up because I wanted you to see everything in oh, its finest. thank you. I love this kettle. Donnie's showing me the kettle. <laughs> this is it's metal at the bottom, silicon yeah. on the sides, yeah. so it doesn't melt. And when you're finished with it, you just push it all the way down and it, it, it basically goes to that size. Oh my goodness. So it's compact for camper vans. That's brilliant. Otherwise, look at the space that would take yeah. up. <laughs> it, all, it all folds down. Cool. I bought an orange bowl and he's complaining that it take up too it much room. It takes up room. too much room. <laughs> <laughs> so can I open it? You can put things in it. Exactly. There we yeah. are. <laughs> I suppose we missed that and put other things in it then. Exactly. <laughs> Donnie's made me a lovely cup of coffee. We're very privileged as well. You're the first person ever it's oh. not family to have tea in the van. No way. Yes, first one ever. <gasps> oh, I'm honoured. <laughs> <laughs> Sharing it with my viewers though as well. Yeah. They're, they're honoured too. It doesn't. It's fine. It's weird because when you turn the heat off, it goes. Yeah. I am going. I've got the camera on you, Donny. Be okay. warned. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for putting me up. You're very welcome. Well, I felt like I've been put up. I've only been there a few hours, but I've been very at home in there. That's all right. No problem. <laughs> yeah, lovely, lovely to meet to you. See you. Yeah, and you. Yeah. Oh, you've gone all shady now. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a really really lovely afternoon with those two we talked and talked until our jaws were aching we were like really thirsty by the time we got back to the van and I was saying oh it's all that talking we've been breathing out all the moisture so <laughs> but anyway yeah absolutely lovely got had so much in common and we just yeah haven't stopped talking and I still haven't stopped talking I'm talking to you now anyway this is what I can see I can see the pier stretching out in front of me I am looking for the train station I've got a train in about or a little bit under half an hour so I'm going to take a slow walk up there and find it now. I just passed a signpost that said we're a quarter of a mile from the station. It's all uphill. Oh my gosh. With my backpack as well. Donnie did offer me a lift. Let's just point that out for the record. But I fancied a bit of exercise anyway because I've been sitting down for quite a few hours. Uh, so yeah, forgot about the hill though. <laughs> no, but I don't regret it. It's all good. It's all good. Whew. Huh. 
Oh no, well I've pounded up the hill to the train station, got here with 10 minutes to spare, and I thought I'll just pop in a corner shop, get a cold drink. I'm not sure if this was the corner shop. <laughs> But there's not one, I don't think. There's a, like a booze shop. I might go and see if they got soft drinks. The bottle shop. No, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have to wait till Cardiff Central. I'm not sure if I might have to forego my connection and get a later train to nip out and buy something, but I'm ever so thirsty. It's because it's such a hot day and I just climbed up a hill basically. Donnie gave me a cup of coffee and two things water in the van, so I shouldn't be thirsty, but I am. <laughs> I probably ought to get something savory to eat as well on the way home. Oh, I wonder if this is our train. It terminates here, I think. There we are. Must be then. It's another one of those very nice trains. Ooh, look at that! <gasps> wow! We have arrived at Penarth. I know. I like the fact they've got raised ones. <sighs> it's going in a few minutes. Might as well charge my phone while I can. Charging point is down there, <laughs> between the seats. We're coming towards Cardiff Central now. I'm going to do a quick flit. I am. I'm going to try and quickly buy a drink from MS or something like that and get back on the platform in time, hopefully. And if I miss the train, I'll just have to wait until the next one. I managed to get the train in time and get to MS, get some salad to have on the train home. Got a drink as well. I accidentally got sugary Coke. I thought it was Coke Zero, but I was in such a rush when I grabbed it. I got the wrong one. It was a meal deal, so there's some crisps as well. I had first to lunch though, so I might save them for another time. Hello, it's about quarter to eight now. I've just got in through the door. Travelled home, yeah, it was so nice to go on a train. Oh, it's so straight liney and smooth and doesn't jolt you from side to side and up and down and make you sick. So brilliant, I was really pleased about that. Had an absolutely lovely day, as I mentioned before. I uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, could you please give it a like because it really helps the channel to grow and I really appreciate that. If you're new here and would like to watch more videos from me, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!